Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode of Investment Chat in a Rose Red with Stephen Akintayo. And my guest today is a very interesting man. I told him when I grow up, I want to be like him. <laughs> Tipsel is the uh, chairman CEO of Global Eye. And I must confess, team, you are a global citizen. I am definitely a global citizen, right. indeed. British, Canadian, Emirati. <laughs> we just need to add shake, uh, team. I wish. Yes, <laughs> yes. So tell us about you know, your background, how you, you, you got to become this global in terms of your perspective. You've lived in Canada, you've lived in Singapore. I mean, how did this all happen? It's just part of life, you know, I think it's life's rich tapestry. I was in Canada, born in Canada because my parents were there. My okay. father was an architect and I yeah. think, you know, back in the, dare I say it, the 60s, yes. when I was born, yes. I think, you know, my dad was, uh, you know, making log cabins or something, I yeah. don't know, right? Yeah. And uh, then I spent a spell back in the UK. Mm. Um, I'm ex-military, I joined the Royal Ooh, Navy. The nice. Navy took me all over the world. Wow. Eventually, I ended up in uh, in Hong Kong as a young gunnery officer, and okay. I met my wife there actually Ooh, as well. Nice. Okay, so I've lived in Hong Kong. Yeah. Right then and you guys have three children. We have four. Oh, yes, I have three boys and I have a daughter. Same with me. I have two boys, one daughter. Really, I have a granddaughter now as well. Oh, yes. congratulations! Yes. So, so I'm congratulations. still a very, very busy granddad. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so I'd lived, uh, uh, you know, uh, all over the place, you yes. know, with the military. And yeah. then when I left and mm -hmm. became a financial professional, yeah. the Middle East came to really to, to my call. Yeah. And I came to initially Bahrain. Yeah. And then I moved to the UAE back yeah. in 1995. Ooh. So it's a long time, more than 25 years. Ooh. Yeah. And, uh, and I've had a great time here. Yeah. You know, grown up here mm -hmm. my children have grown up here yeah. I've owned property here mm -hmm. I'm very fortunate that mm -hmm. uh, my business partner until recently was okay. one of the Maktoum family the Rooney oh, family of oh, Dubai okay. and now I'm working with a family in Abu Dhabi okay. um, which is Sheikh Khaled okay. and he is basically the brother-in-law to the ruler of the country oh, nice. and so you know I intend to spend a lot more time uh, in the UAE okay. it's still a very exciting place to okay. be it's very Will much you raise all your grandchildren and here the grandchildren and might they come, come here. <laughs> <laughs> the grandpa they, they love guys they I, they yeah. have a nickname for me, which is Wapa. Don't ask, don't ask me where she got it from. Wapa. So I yes, like I am Wapa. <laughs> that's that's a customized name for Grandpa. Yeah, Wapa. <laughs> Wapa, nice one. You know, so in 1999, you started Global Art. Correct. You know what? What led to this? Um, it was really due to the fact that I was working with an organization in financial services mm -hmm. and I didn't quite feel that maybe the interests of the company, the mm -hmm. clients were mm -hmm. quite aligned and how they were doing things. Mm -hmm. So I had no intention when yeah. I left the military to set up my own financial planning practice. Mm -hmm. It just organically came into wow. that, right? Wow. And then, you know, I, I joined a company initially. Mm -hmm. um, and it had a bit of a, let's say, a bit of a crusty name to mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. And so I went to approach Sheikh Suhail and Maktoum to okay. say, look, I want to set up a new business, a little wow. bit more modern and dynamic yeah. and yeah. forward thinking. Yeah. And he said, what are you going to call it? I said, um, how about Global Eye? <laughs> And of course, he, he said, yeah, whatever. And now he More did. like from Eagle Eye. <laughs> no, some people say Golden Eye. Say, no, that's yeah. James Bond. That's James Bond. Not James Bond. Yeah. But basically what was happening at the time, I was looking at setting up a, a global credit management business as okay. well. And we'd done the business plan. We set stuff up and we had the domain and we had uh, the letterheads and everything. Yeah, yeah. But that wasn't going to go ahead at the time. It just wasn't going to work. Yeah. So I just sent we can use these. <laughs> so we just call the new company Global Eye and it's, wow. it's stuck ever since. Wow, amazing. Amazing. One of the exciting things about you is that you love to have fun. And you just told me you sold your, your Rolls Royce recently. Yes. You know, so why sell it? Why sell Rolls Royce? <laughs> Who sells Rolls Royce? <laughs> I, I do have others, yes. um, but you know, I, but the one I had here in Dubai was yes. getting maybe to the age where maybe I needed to trade it in. Oh, okay. And also, I had three oh, people yeah. chasing me for it okay. that they wanted to buy it from me. Okay. So it was a case of opportunity. I don't know. I was at a track day just before yeah. Christmas, yeah. and the guy that uh, wanted to buy it was there yeah. as well. He said, yeah. "Tim, come on, give me the keys. Yeah. I'll take the car okay. now." Okay. And in a moment of weakness, I yeah. said, "Okay." Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, I was actually up there that day driving a Radical, and uh, I used to race SR3 Radicals. Wow. And uh, But again, my wife said, perhaps you shouldn't be driving those anymore, being, yeah. a, being a WAPA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So, happy wife, happy life. Yes. I sold my Radical as well. Yeah. And, and you know, I mean, the respect of, of your wife is the beginning of wisdom. Of course. You I'm not, not going to disagree with that. <laughs> You've married for how many years now? Over 30 years. Whoa. Yeah. I got married when I was 12. You got to remember. No, no, no. no that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> so what, what will be, you know, people say that if you know how to manage, you know, your wife or your relationship, mm -hmm. you'll be able to know how to manage many. And you are a financial expert. What, what's your advice in that area? Yeah, I think, you know, with uh, if you're trying to make a, 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 a delineation between the two or you yeah. need a connection, yes. yeah, then it's important to communicate, right? Mm -hmm. There's going to be good times, there's going to be mm -hmm. bad times, but communication is absolutely Powerful. key. Powerful. Absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I so like if that. You can, if you can like move that, that in the I business like and your domestic life, then it, mm. hopefully things should stay together. Mm. Communication. So, guys, over 30 years experience, Communication <laughs> is the link between, you know, managing your family well and, of course, your money. GTEx Home is a brand with vision of having the largest green and smart estate with innovation and technology. The vision has given birth to Jasper Gardenia along the coastline of Ibejuleki, Lagos. The first green and smart affordable estate. Now, Jasper Estate is just 10 minutes away from Dangote Refinery and it's just opposite the Lekki Golf Course. And guess what? The title is Gizet. Now, you can get a property here, here because here, my friend, is the future. GTEx Homes. We don't just sell properties. We help you build your future. My name is Steven Akinta. I am known as Africa's Sort of as my coach. I started 13 years ago as an entrepreneur and knowing nothing um, but having the guts <laughs> and of course wanting to be wealthy as I was born from a poor family. My mother was a civil servant. My father's business had crumbled before I was born. But I knew that we could be wealthy. But something changed my life. At the age of 17, I started reading book on money. And I got to know that I can be wealthy. It's possible. I started the first wealth university. By the time you're done with it, you can literally start your own business or be able to learn how to invest in a business and make money for yourself. I'd like you to sign up today in www.stevenakitayuniversity.com Ladies and gentlemen, we're still here, investment chart in a Rolls Royce and with Tim from Global Eye. You know, and today we're looking at his life, his business and what he's done. He's a well accomplished man, of course, now a WAPA. You know, another word for grandpa. <laughs> and so my next question will be, what do you think people miss the most? First of all, when it comes to planning their personal finance and when it comes to their corporate finance. Yeah, right. So we, we provide uh, unbiased, i.e. independent solutions to yeah. both individuals and corporates. Okay. I'll cover individuals first. Mm. What I tend to find with everyone is that they don't take enough time to plan their finances. Okay. They spend more time planning their holiday than mm. they do planning their finances. Mm. And like anything, mm. it's important to go and get professional advice. Wow. You know, if, if wow. you if you get a toothache, you yeah. don't you don't say, well, I'll try and sort it out yeah, myself. Yeah. You go and see a professional true, who will true, take care of it. True. And this is the same thing with regards to financial advice. Mm. So, uh, and someone that can look at all aspects, mm -hmm. to go and just see one person to talk about investment only, mm -hmm. but ignore all the other important mm -hmm. things like taxation mm -hmm. or insurance mm -hmm. or uh, you know citizenship through mm -hmm. investment or all of these areas, mm -hmm. including real estate, yeah. it, you can't knit it all together. Wow. So it's important to see someone who can bring all that stuff together mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. and then give you a strategy for today but also for the future yeah. and for your future generations. Wow. 
wow. corporate planning a little bit different because they're either looking to protect assets, mm -hmm. insure assets, mm -hmm. or provide a, you know, a company pension scheme for mm -hmm. their staff or mm -hmm. medical cover. Mm -hmm. So there's different aspects, mm -hmm. but ultimately independent, mm -hmm. second opinion, mm -hmm take time mm -hmm. and plan mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. so many people leave it too late can people like us afford your company if we need this amazing services can you <laughs> afford not to <laughs> i love that i love that <laughs> you're good <laughs> yeah so how you know can individuals uh, because I believe you work with individuals as well as with we do, corporations. Yes. We do, we do. You know, so how how do we contact you know to kind of you know set up um, a project and what will it look like in terms of engaging your company? Well, look, the best thing to do is reach out to us first. Okay. Obviously, globali.com. You can okay. get hold of us. Okay. Uh, you know, all of our telephone details for all our offices around the world are yeah. available on that website. Okay. People reach out to us and say, look, this is what's going on, mm -hmm. or this is my problem, mm -hmm. or I'm not too sure what my problems are. Yeah. Can you just have a quick look yeah. and yeah. identify? Okay. And we're more than happy to do that. To so you would do an evaluation? Total evaluation wow. on everything, wow. you know, wow. what what they need to, we'll show them what's good mm -hmm. and what needs to maybe improve a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. It might be making things more effective mm -hmm. or more cost efficient. Mm -hmm. It's a big thing on cost right mm -hmm. now. And we can point out areas where we can help them out. Mm -hmm. They may have a range of financial advisory, yeah. private banker, trustee, lawyer types already, yeah. but they haven't had someone knit it yeah. all together. We can become <coughs> Bring the glue. Bring it all to one. We're just the glue that wow. brings it all together, Beautiful. right? Beautiful. And I think a lot of clients, uh, particularly those who in the real estate world, mm -hmm. who maybe have bought in places where there's taxation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this is one of the big things we do with mm -hmm. partners, you know, like Art and Capital, etc., yeah, yeah. where clients now have a passport that takes yeah. them all sorts of places in the yes, world. Yes. But that's tax. Mm. There's tax mm. in these various places, okay? And that needs to be looked at. Wow. So, for example, in the UK, mm -hmm. many people have mm -hmm. bought property in London, right? Yeah. They love London. Yeah. Everyone from London around the world, good. they love I, it. I love London. <laughs> you and many, many yeah, others, yeah, right? And they buy a property in London. Yeah. And if they've had some kind of advice, they may have bought through a company structure mm -hmm. or a trust structure. Mm -hmm. Well, the British government have recently changed the rules to mm -hmm. say, if you own property in the UK now, mm -hmm. It's 40% tax when you die. Mm. Most people mm. are unaware. Wow. Last year, HMRC. Guys, yeah. listen to Tim. <laughs> wow. I'm just discovering this. Too. I, uh, I, can't get, I can't get around it, but I can put in solutions. Wow. So basically, the days of trying to get around these taxes mm -hmm. are not happening. Because, wow. you know, governments, as you know, they're very broke. They spend mm. trillions of dollars on mm. the COVID issue. Mm -hmm. And they're looking at every single way they can to get wow. money back out of people. Wow. And what is their target? High net worth families mm -hmm. and corporates. Wow. wow. They can't tax poor people mm -hmm. anymore. True. The poor people are True. already poor. They're, they're, and they're angry also. <laughs> yeah, they're angry, right? So they're coming for the high net worth families. Yeah. Wow. And in and in UK, with uh, so many people owning property from yeah. around the world, yeah. this is a big, big money take for wow. them. Wow, this is amazing. And, and, and really, uh, thank you for sharing that with our audience. <laughs> Africa, because we have massive number of viewers from Africa. First of all, do you consult for Africans and African businesses? And um, second of all, what do you think that most uh, entrepreneurs uh, or wealthy families in Africa need to begin to put in place? that is unique to their situations. Again, a lot of these wealthy families have gone overseas. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we have an office in South Africa, for example, okay. and, uh, and that's predominantly designed around the taxation issues which are affecting people. Okay. They're not only their assets within mm. Africa, but their assets that they've now got outside of Africa. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes mm -hmm. the, they don't get the advice mm. that knits together with well this is what I'm doing back at home mm -hmm. and this is what I'm doing in various other parts mm -hmm. of the world who can advise mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. not just my banker to talk mm -hmm. my banking mm -hmm. or not just by my lawyer to mm -hmm. talk about the legal mm -hmm. stuff who can advise on all of that and mm -hmm. identify potential areas wow. and then we collaborate with the advisory network mm -hmm. to make sure the solution is done correctly wow 
This is great. This is great. I, I think I'm your first customer. Okay, good. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're into real estate back at home. This year we're building a thousand okay. housing unit. Okay. And, you know, we just opened our Dubai office and we're hoping to open London and in the U.S. also. Um, but the conversation about knitting everything together, yep. you know, is very powerful. Right? We'll do the financing, we'll do the taxation wow. advisory, wow. we'll do the structuring, we might wow. do the FX. Wow. Uh, particularly with foreign, we'll do things like the insurance wrappers to protect the asset against wow. taxation and things like that. Wow, wow, amazing. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much indeed. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I, I think you solved my problem. <laughs> but I believe oh. for many, many people, um, I will be, you know, reaching out to Tim. You know, we didn't discuss this, by the way. You know, I, truly, there is a solution there. <laughs>I'm having a wonderful conversation with Tim uh, of Global Eye, and um, you know it's been a wonderful conversation around investment structure. And uh, my next question will be: What are the top three quotes around either investment or money that you normally give? Quotes? Yes, or that you love. It could be somebody else's quote. Pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. Nice. Start planning early. Start planning early. And probably the last one, which links back to the beginning of the conversation, mm -hmm. don't get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> that is a serious one. You know, <laughs> don't get divorced. Mm. Okay, that's a powerful one, really. Really, really powerful. And that leads me to my last question. What will you give, whether a male or a female, as to advice about how to manage their family finance in terms of how couples can manage their money? Yeah, I mean, as you say, as a couple, come together as a couple. Do okay. it, you know, dynamically together. Okay. But then engage the, the professional service of someone. Okay. So we help people map out things. Mm -hmm. uh, we can then put an online strategy together for mm -hmm. them so they can go and review it every mm -hmm. time. So mm -hmm. it's not a one-hit thing. You mm -hmm. don't just say, boom, it's done, finish. Mm -hmm. It's something we do at a regular period of time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's got to be come down and mm -hmm. see if it's still relevant. Let's mm -hmm. say, you know, you're a couple and we've, yeah. done, a, we've done a plan. Mm -hmm. We've now got kids, mm. or more kids, mm -hmm. or things change. Mm -hmm. You know, attitudes change, mm -hmm. or there may have been a death in the mm -hmm. family. Or we mm -hmm. want to do this now. Mm -hmm. or we, this was a plan originally, but mm -hmm. things change. Mm -hmm. We got divorced. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know, this is this yeah. is the this is the stuff where we yeah. say, look, we'll just give you the black and white, yeah. independent solution. To say, yeah. these are the things you want to have in place yeah. to make sure that these things you're hoping to achieve mm. will have some chance of happening. Wow, amazing! One final one. So what is your projection, you know, in terms of investment in Africa and the future of Africa when it comes to expansion, globalization, growth? Look, I think everyone knows that Africa is the sleeping giant, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> sleeping giant. <laughs> the yeah. sleeping giant. The commodities, mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. size of the resources, mm -hmm. the opportunity that is mm -hmm. still untapped in mm -hmm. Africa mm -hmm. is absolutely huge. Amazing. You know, and, uh, you know, it's just a case now of people accessing Africa mm -hmm. and doing it the right way mm -hmm. and seeing all the checks and the balances mm -hmm. are in place. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as a, as a destination or mm -hmm. a destination for financial, stuff mm -hmm. huge amazing do you consult for com government state government federal government we have been asked to do it in behind on, on, on before yes yeah. we have done so so will you be open to totally okay yeah so africa you had team <laughs> you need a team by your side everybody needs a team <laughs> thank you for coming you're very well i really appreciate it uh, and this is really really amazing thank you thank you yes. so guys we um taking the final part of this episode which is in partnership with our, one of our partners here Shoba and we're gonna take the remaining part of the questions in one of Shoba's amazing properties here in Dubai see you there G text homes <laughs>
a subsidiary of GTEx Global, brought to you by Stephen McIntyre. And it's bringing you Jasper Estate. It is located along the urban area of Ibeju, Lake, Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> this is just luxury at the tip of your fingers, which is 12 minutes drive from the Dlaka Pine Tropicana. It's 15 minutes from Dangote Refinery. And it's 5 minutes to Lekki Town. 2 minutes from Stone Beach Resort. It is just adjacent to the Dangote Jetty. And if you're one that likes to travel down memory lane and be in tune with the relics, Awolo Museum is five minutes away. It is barely 11 minutes from Lekki Deep Sea Port. Pick up that phone, dial that number, send that WhatsApp message to the number on your screen and secure your slot today. Also available in Abuja. GTEx Homes. We don't just sell properties. We help you build your future. So I was born into a very poor family. My mother was a civil servant and I will always recall how we used to go to neighbors to borrow money to send me to school and my siblings. There's just something about poverty that is not attractive. I, of course, read my first book on money at the age of 18, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I started my business 13 years ago with just 8,000 naira. I've grown to become a multi-billionaire corporation today. The habits that I learned from those books are the ones I've practiced in the last 13 years that has helped me to build the empire that we've built today is what is loaded in the books. And some other role models of mine who are billionaires, what I've noticed about their habits and see you at the top with your testimony of how the book has changed your life. The Billionaire Habit authored by Stephen Akintayo. Hey! How you doing? Not eating now. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, but at this point, um, you know, in Dubai, what is your investment advice for people uh, when it comes to property investment? On property investment, yeah. to be honest with you, we always say find a specialist in the area that you want to come into. Right? Find a specialist. Find a specialist that they know their subject matter mm -hmm. and can provide you with a nice unbiased independent view about what is mm -hmm. good for you mm -hmm. needs today mm -hmm. and what you need for the future. Mm -hmm. Where I certainly come in is then I do all, dare I say it, the boring mm. nitty gritty stuff yeah. to make sure financing, yeah. structuring, yeah. insurance, wow. effects, wow. You know, the, all that kind of boring stuff mm -hmm. is then put together mm -hmm. in conjunction with your, your real estate professional. Mm. Wow, amazing. So if before you invest, get a professional to talk to. That's your first advice. Totally, yeah. And, and, and get independent advice. And, okay. and get a second opinion, you know. Okay. Um, and people also need to understand things like taxation matters could be hitting them and so on and so on. Mm. Mm, well. That you may not know, but are there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's one of those unfortunate things, but tax wow. gets everybody. So, for you personally, what are the three types of real estate investment you recommend? Well, I'm not massively into the real estate side of it. We're yes. more on the financial side. Yes. Right? Um, but if I'm your client, you know, three types of real estate investment, you're going to say, hey, put your money here. But I wouldn't. I would say, if you want to get into real estate investment, mm -hmm. speak to a specialist in real estate investment. Okay. Because you've got to remember, there are different types. Am I investing? Yeah. Or is this my home? Yeah. You've got to well, look I'm at it in different in ways, right? Yeah, yeah. So we would say, look, speak to a real estate in, uh, investment specialist. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that they've got a good track record, mm -hmm. good track record, record whether yeah. they're the developer or yeah. they're purely consultant, yeah. etc. And then we can come in and talk about, as I say, the boring stuff with mm -hmm. regards to financing, mm -hmm. structuring, and taxation, mm -hmm. etc., to make sure the whole project comes together. Wow, amazing. Yeah. One, one last question before we go. Um, what will be um, your favorite location here in Dubai? My favorite location? Mm. Gosh, that's a tough one. <laughs> um, Look, I've lived here for 25 years. Woo! Yes. So I've been you are shaked! <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. But uh, no, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been my home for the last 25 wow, years. And wow. I've lived in different parts of the UAE, yeah. predominantly Dubai. Okay? Yeah. Um, right now, I'm living in downtown. Yeah. Downtown is an exciting part of Dubai to be in. Yeah. Um, it's also very convenient because yeah. my office is in downtown as well. Okay. So, uh, so you I, like downtown? At the moment, I have to say downtown. Downtown, downtown Dubai, Burj, Burj Khalifa. I, I, I wake up in the morning and my view is a first <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's difficult Amazing. to be. Amazing. Yeah. 
Once again, I want to thank you for coming, you know, on, on this um, episode of Investment Chat in the Rolls Royce. It's been amazing discussing with you, and thank you for coming. Thanks very much indeed. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so I've had a wonderful discussion with Tim uh, of Global Eye, and um, I mean, it's been a fantastic conversation, and you do not want to miss my next episode of Investment Chat in the Rolls Royce. Don't forget every Sunday 2.30 to 3 p.m. channels television and we also stream across all our social media handle. It's going to be a great one next week. Love you, goodbye.